guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Morgan, and make sure that you subscribe before the video is over. I'm so excited for today's video. If you've been with me since last year, at least, you know my obsession with the fall season. It's literally out of control. I spend so much time and so much money and so much thought on fall every year, and I literally just can't get enough. So, when Bath & Body Works puts out their fall stuff, and puts it on sale in the beginning of August. I'm in there and I'm spending my entire bank account because I just love it so much. So today I have a haul for you guys and I'm literally so excited. I cannot wait to show you everything that I got and just like chit chat about fall time stuff and just be excited together. So I hope you enjoy the video. Also, I invested in a ring light. So hopefully you guys can see a quality difference. I think it's doing a lot. Let me know if you like it, if you think the quality is better. I'm trying to up my game, so let me know what you think. Okay, I think I'm going to leave the candles for last because best for last, right? So like I said, ooh, let me get comfy here. Bath & Body Works put out their fall scents and they did a sale, like right after they put them out. And I've already made two trips to Bath & Body Works and got so, so many fall things. And I'm so excited and I can't wait to go back for Christmas stuff. I'm that lady that has a scent in every room in the house and is always burning a candle and I literally have a cinnamon one burning right now downstairs. I just am, I can't get enough. And I know so many of you feel the same way because it's just what's not to love about it, right? So I'm going to start with the one thing that I bought for like a transition to fall. So like kind of summery, kind of fall, but I'm going to wear it as a transition scent just because that time of like late August and early September, I'm always like, is it summer? Is it fall? I don't really know. And I struggle with like a scent for that. So I bought a lotion just for that. This is the Strawberry Pound Cake 24 Hour Moisture Body Lotion with Shea Butter and Vitamin E. I believe they marketed this as a summer scent. But it smells so good. The fragrance notes are fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, and whipped cream. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat it right up. It is very sweet, but like, I love it. And the way that I wear my lotion, I shower every single night before bed, and then I lotion up and get into bed. So to go to bed smelling like something like sweet and warm... Oh god, I'm so excited. I can't wait to crack this open. Next, I got two other body lotions, and these are both definitely fall. And these are so cute and smell so freaking amazing. So the first one I got is Pumpkin Marshmallow Latte, a favorite of mine every year. This is kind of like a classic Bath & Body fall scent. And this is the Ultra Shea Body Cream. I've never used their body creams before. I always use the just regular lotion. Um, and the body creams are only a dollar extra, and I believe they're supposed to be more thick and more moisturizing, and that's my favorite. I love a good, thick, juicy, moisturizing lotion, so I'm hoping that these are good. Again, part marshmallow pumpkin latte. The scents in this are pumpkin latte, toasted marshmallows, creamy sandalwood, and praline musk. And these are also made with shea butter, cocoa butter, and aloe, so I feel like they're going to be great on my skin. But those scents, the sandalwood and musk, I'm obsessed with. I love when something is like sweet, but then has that earthy tone. Something about that is just so comforting. Oh god, that smells so good. Oh, it smells so amazing. It, it doesn't have much of a pumpkin scent. It's mostly like marshmallow latte, and I love that. And then the last lotion I got is Vanilla Mocha Cafe, again in the body cream. The fragrance notes are Cozy Cappuccino, Vanilla Orchid, and White Tonka Bean. I don't know what a Tonka Bean is. I'm assuming some kind of coffee bean because it's a mocha cafe. Oh my goodness! It is so warm and refreshing and cozy. It literally just smells like vanilla cafe in a bottle. It is so good. I'm so pumped. Let's just skip past August. And I will admit, today's only August 10th, and I'm like so ready to whip out the fall candles. I'm trying to hold off. I'm trying to get through some other candles that I have. I even purchased, 
I believe I purchased a candle that's not even for fall that I need to be burning. I've got a lot going on and I'm being crazy because I love fall that much. Let's keep going. So next I got a bunch of wallflowers. Sorry, that's another candle. <laughs> So for my wallflowers, I am currently completely out. So I did actually go ahead and get five wallflowers that are not fall related because I wanted something to get me through the rest of August. So I'm going to go through those first. I've just got so many. Okay, so here's what I did. I got five fall ones and I got five regular ones. I'm going to talk about this scent again because I have it in a couple candles. But this is my all-time favorite, number one, nothing can top it. It's been my favorite for a couple years now. Marshmallow Fireside. It is a fall scent. They market it as a fall scent, but this scent to me is a year-round, fresh, cozy, comforting scent that I cannot get enough of. So I got two wallflowers of it. And the notes in this, toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, again, anything woods and bark and all of that, I'm obsessed and fire roasted vanilla. If you like something fresh and clean but also cozy and inviting, you have to try Marshmallow Fireside. I guarantee you it'll be your new favorite. It smells so amazing. Two of those. And then I also got three of the Vanilla Sage. Again, just like kind of a transition from summer to fall. And the Vanilla Sage is Frosted Sage, White Lavender, and Vanilla Cream. Another one that smells fresh and advising advising fresh and inviting but also cozy and warm so moving on to the strictly fall scent wallflowers i got five fall ones a new scent that they brought out this year is called acorn lane and i actually really really like it it's kind of different for me it's a little bit more of like a cologne scent almost but like it's also fresh and fall i don't know if i'm explaining that well but here are the notes Autumn leaves, warm cinnamon, and crisp gala apples. Gala apples? Gala? I don't know. But it smells really good and clean. Definitely clean. And you do get that hint of apple to bring you to that like fall vibes. So I highly recommend trying out Acorn Lane this year if you haven't made your stop yet because it's really good. I was going to buy it in a candle, but I just kind of changed my mind because I had other favorites. But Acorn Lane is definitely a new really good scent and then i had to get a classic you guys know caramel pumpkin swirl a very sweet one but i just had to i feel like i didn't really get sweet scents this year and i normally do but i had to get a classic so in the caramel pumpkin swirl we have luscious caramel ground cinnamon and creamy vanilla you can just tell how sweet and luxurious that smells a great scent and then the last two wallflowers I got are White Pumpkin. Everyone was raving about this scent last year, and I couldn't even find it at My Bath & Body Works, so I never got the chance to smell it. So this year when I saw it, I rushed towards it, and it's worth the hype. The notes in this are White Pumpkin, Autumn Spice Blend, and Ground Cinnamon. So it's like a very spice-oriented scent but it's also like fresh and clean. I love it. Uh, everything is just such good vibes and such good scents. Actually, I think I opened this one already. Let's see if I can give you a better explanation. Oh, it smells like a... Oh, it smells like you just literally opened a jar of nutmeg and cinnamon and you're just sniffing it, but it's also like your house is clean. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's what it smells like. So now for everyone's favorite, at least my favorite, I don't know why anyone else wouldn't have this be their favorite, but the candles. Bath & Body Works does the best job at candles, I can't even lie. Yes, the price is high, but it's absolutely a million percent worth it, and I will continue to spend too much money on these candles because they're that good. I went in and I got four mini candles, so I will start with those. And the reason I got some minis is because they were on sale, and I also wanted to be able to switch out scents quicker because with the big ones, like they take so long to burn, so I wanted to have some small ones that I could like switch out instead of getting sick of the scent, you know? So. The first one that I got 
is pumpkin pecan waffles. Another classic at Bath and Body Works. I did have this one last year in a larger candle and I love it. It is so cozy and warm. It literally reminds you of waking up on a fall morning when it's like kind of gloomy and rainy outside but it's like warm in your house and breakfast is cooking and oh god it just smells so good. Oh, you can so smell the pecan and the waffle and the hint of pumpkin. My goodness, I can't wait. So the scents in this are maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. That is absolutely what it smells like. A million percent, they got that spot on. Next, I got another sweet breakfast one, and I smelled this one last year, and I skipped out on it, and I had to get it this year. I couldn't skip out again. This one is called Blueberry Maple Pancakes. It is as sweet smelling as it sounds, but I love it. It just is so cozy. Oh gosh, it really smells like blueberry and syrup. The notes in this are wild blueberries, griddle fresh pancakes, and warm maple syrup. This reminds me of like going to Vermont. We are going to Vermont and a few other places in the East Coast this fall, literally during October, and I'm so excited. And smelling this candle just makes me think of being there and waking up in like the cabin type environment and having breakfast ready with Vermont fresh maple syrup. Oh my gosh. The vibes are here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the next one that I got, I told you I'd be bringing up Marshmallow Fireside, and here I am. Marshmallow Fireside, I'll go over it one more time. Toasted Marshmallow, Smoldering Woods, Fire Roasted Vanilla, and Crystallized Amber. <sighs> There's nothing better. You could just smell like the woods and the coziness. Oh my god, I just love it. It is so fresh and clean, but so cozy. I think that's how I've said all the scents were, but seriously, this is a must-have. It's a must-have. It's great for fall, but it's also great for year-round. And to prove how good it is, I got it in two full-size candles as well. I wanted to stock up because the big ones were on sale, so I might not necessarily burn through all of these this fall. I'm definitely going to go through the more fall ones first, but I did go ahead and get... Um, two full size of these not only because I love the scent and because the package is cute but because I can use it any time of year I can use it for Christmas and spring and summer I just am so obsessed I love it yes I bought three candles of it and two wallflowers okay the last mini candle I got is cranberry woods this one is so good only thing I will say, I think this should be marketed as a Christmas candle and not as a fall candle. So I may be saving this one more towards Christmas time, but if I just get excited, I'll probably use it. So again, it's called Cranberry Woods. Oh, very clean and fresh and fruity smelling. I love that. So the scents in here are Tart Cranberry, Cinnamon Bark, Forest Cedar, and Golden Amber. This one's great as a hand soap too. I didn't buy any hand soaps this year because they're just a little too overpriced for me and I'd rather spend it on candles and plug-ins. But this is a great soap as well. If you're looking for soaps, I highly recommend the Cranberry Woods, again, for fall or Christmas. And that's all my minis. We went over the marshmallow ones. So the last candle that I got is my favorite for Halloween, the Vampire Blood. And I really contemplated getting this... I really contemplated even getting this one this year. I get it every year and it's like our signature Halloween scent just because we're so used to having it for all of October. But I just didn't know if it was necessary to get this year. But when I walked in and I saw that they had this cute packaging on it, I just had to get it. I mean, seriously, the gray and black in the woods with the bats and then the red vampire blood, like, I just had to get it. And I love that the candle is white this year instead of red. It just looks more like classy and it's going to fit so well with our Halloween decor. Oh, and it smells so good. So this is very like berry scented, I feel like. The notes in it are blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, and dark Transylvanian plum. So yeah, it's kind of like that dark berry. And I explain it like that every year and I don't know if anyone gets what I'm saying, but it's like dark berries. That's the best way that I can explain it. And it's a great Halloween scent. Like it's definitely something that you would burn and think of Halloween. 
and I'm just obsessed with it. That's officially everything that I got. This sale was so good. I bought stuff for my coworkers because they couldn't make it in time and I was like, cash at me, I'll grab you what you want, I'll bring it to work. And it's just, it's been such a great time. I literally can't wait for fall. Oh goodness. So that's everything that I got. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what your favorite fall scents are this year. Uh, there are so many good ones that I didn't purchase just because I needed to not go overboard, but there's so many other good ones that I absolutely love. There's also one that I think is summertime called Basil. Is it Basil and Blackberry? Something like that. That's a really good scent. If you guys want something kind of like more fresh and clean, definitely try that one. But I'm going to stop blabbering. Let me know what your favorites are this year. Let me know how excited you are for fall. And yeah, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!